So it's with a heavy heart that I have to confess that I've made a complete pig's ear of the design of this attenuator board. Ah, dearie me. It's almost as if I deliberately stuffed these things up to, so I've got something in the video. Um, <laughs> so it all seemed good until I discovered that none of the relays did anything. And sure enough, it's the one part of the circuit that I didn't think too hard about because it was much the same as the input selector I'd done a couple of months back. So we're using the same Darlington array, same relays, didn't really think about it. However, it's an array of NPN Darlington, so we're switching the ground, and someone seems to think that we're switching the five volts instead. And lo and behold, that doesn't work. Not only that, we're not gonna save that with a couple of bodge wires. So, I'm afraid, this board is pretty much a paperweight. These two. Okay, so here I've, I'm just showing a close-up of the relevant part of the schematic. And on the top here shows what I have built. And the bottom one shows what I should have built. So, boom, boom. And there we go. Okay, so as you can see, what I should have done was had common 5 volt rail and had our switching on the ground side. And what I actually did was I had a common ground and I had a switched ground above it, which lo and behold doesn't do anything useful at all. So what I've decided to do so that I can at least salvage something um, from this board, uh, at least I can learn some things, um, I've somewhat unceremoniously removed the uh, driver IC, um, possibly with a little more savagery than was actually required, because, to be honest, I wasn't in a good mood. Um, and I've attached um, some leads to the output terminals, and I've uh, led that to a breadboard with a, a dip switch, and we're just going to apply 5 volts to the relays um, through the dip switch, so we can at least do some testing on the actual attenuator part of the, of the circuit and uh, just get some sense of that performance uh, while we're waiting for the, uh, the uh, correct boards to be uh, built and delivered. Okay, so here's our test setup, and as you see, we've removed the Darlington array chip and we've run these flying leads to a breadboard here where we're applying five volts here and switching it through this dip switch here. Now there's a few things here that are less than optimal. Um, one of them is I don't have enough power supply channels to power the uh, op-amp uh, circuit on uh, plus minus 15 volt rails and also power the relays off of five. So just for the moment I'm running the whole thing off of plus or minus five and so I'm running the relays off of the same power supply as the positive supply for the op amps which isn't great but that'll do for the moment now we're actually using the source output of the hp 3562a because out of all of the signal sources we've got that one gives us the most precise control of level and since level measurement is really what i'm interested in here um, i figured that's the best way to go so I'm showing the output level of the attenuator on the meter here and what I'm feeding in is an input signal which is just a whisk over 1 volt RMS and that's to make up for a little bit of loss in the input stage where we're losing maybe a bit under 0.1 of a dB we've got a 100 ohm source into a 10k ohm load and so that little bit of loss just makes things a little bit trickier so what I've done is just to tweak the uh, source level just a little higher so that we get something very, very close to 1 volt RMS at the output. And to make things even easier, we shall get the meter to do the arithmetic for us because we are lazy. Okay, so there we go. So with no attenuation, 0, 0.00 and some change. Excellent. So, starting from the least significant bit, if I switch that one, we should get minus 0.85. Okay. 
And the next one should be minus 1.7. That's looking quite respectable. Pressing on, we should be getting minus 3.4. Yeah, okay. And doubling that, minus 6.8. Okay, that looks pretty respectable. And next one along should be minus 13.6 dB. That's also good. And finally, we get the most significant bit, which should give us minus 27.2. That's particularly close. Wow. So there you have it. Uh, we've got some issues with our driver, so we can't really do a lot of testing. We can't really test to see whether we're getting any switching noise because we're switching this with a, a dip switch instead of um, electronically. So um, it's not really a fair test, but at least we've uh, proven the attenuator stage itself and that looks quite nice. Look, I hope that was enjoyable and as ever, thanks for watching.